Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to a five day show. We'll be there for six days. Um, it's the Santa Barbara Nationals. Originally, I was planning on taking Zinn. Unfortunately, he will not be attending because I have six client horses that would like to fill the trailer. And to be honest, an A-rated show like the Santa Barbara Nationals is quite an expensive first horse show back to be doing smaller heights and just seeing how he goes. So instead, I will be taking Callie and I'll be riding some client horses as well. So let's pack up and get ready. So the first thing that I always do about two weeks before the show or 10 days before the show is I prep out all the grain. So this is the grain for the six horses that are going, AM and PM, um, pre-bagged for each day. And we also have some aloe juice in here from Farm Aloe Butte, just in case, last day for some of the older horses, stuff like that. Um, extra beet pulp. We have some ulcer guard. Some, these are some dexamethasone pills, which are antihistamine, which is show legal in certain increments or certain amounts uh, 12 hours before. But Callie notoriously gets hives, so that's a fail safe just in case. We also have some extra triple crown complete here for skinny boy Remington, just in case midway through the week he's um, not eating his nice boy supplements. So that's what's in here. This is also more pelleted beet pulp. The stuff expands to like 10 times the size. So that should be enough for AM, PM for the whole week for the horses. And these are just some water buckets. The more buckets, the better. So the purple one will be for soaking the beet pulp. These will either be for Cali or for bit dips or bathing or whatever. So that's just the first thing that I normally lay out. So this is just one of my travel tack trunks. Um, it stays like this year round when we're showing, when we're not showing, every month, every day. Um, I have like some old numbers in here, which I have to throw away, so ignore that. But we just have um, cross ties in here. I have a backup cross tie, some pens, some rope. Never know when you need rope. These are some different storage bags that I actually need to take out. Um, a sweat scrape. I think like the world's saddest pair of Ray-Ban aviators. And then down here I have, this is just like a show grooming trunk and a lunge line that lives in here. Um, or grooming tote rather. So I have all my soft brushes and then some like paddle brushes and different sprays. Um, there's a couple little things of liniment in here and um, a Mary's Botanical roll on. But this isn't like my full liniment poultice. This is just kind of my basic grooming. So that stays in there. And then this lunge line, which desperately needs to be rolled up. Um, this lives in there as well. So it's a little crazy in here right now. Um, I have Callie's fly stuff already prepped for the show. Uh, this is Callie's saddle. Callie's saddle will be going. Otherwise, that's the only horse I believe I'm showing other than Remington, who I'll be using Cassie's tack. Um, the Activo Med, our PEMP blanket will be going, which all of this stuff's gonna stay in here until we leave or until I pack the truck. Then my helmets over there will be going. These are things that don't go in the tack trunk, again, go in my truck. Um, but seeing as today is Sunday, we leave on Tuesday, I will probably wait a little longer. These boots will be going, but I'm using them on Monday. I can pack my show boots though. So I put my liniment bucket in. Um, got brown paper. This is just some uptight poultice. Uh, the liniment I'll bring in a second. Here's a bag of rags, which that'll probably go in last because it can kind of go anywhere. Also, wah, have some random essentials. I don't trim my horse's whiskers, but some of the girls will if they're doing Eck or anything. Probably going to stick to jumpers, but just in case, um, I brought one of those couple things of chapstick from Mary's Botanicals and then hair nets. Sharpie. So we have one more thing of poultice. Um, I'm sure someone will forget some poultice along the way so um, just making sure that we have it all. I'm trying a new um, Betrison shampoo. I've never used it before. I just bought it at our local tack shop. It's like a spray on. So we'll see how we like that. Um, again, this is a concentrate. It's a liniment. 
It's DIO, uh, not sponsored, but it's just a concentrate, but I have a tap on it just in case because I don't know, I love it and I really don't want it to go to waste. So let's see if I can get that in there somewhere. And then just a little travel muscle spray as well. Got the detangler. And this is just um, a helmet refreshing spray. It's from the Modern Horse subscription box. I actually got this necklace from them too. I'm super obsessed. Um, they do gift boxes and stuff, so check them out. Now we have Outsmart. Um, oh gosh! Oh! Make sure to always check your products to make sure they're show legal. So anyway, I'm gonna take some um, some fly wipes and then some shiny sprays. Just got these from Smart Pack. I like that they're metal. Um, just makes me feel a little better about putting them in here with stuff on top of them for some reason. Make sure everything's switched off. So I have some gloves for liniment and poulticing. Just makes life easier. It's probably not enough. I tend to go through a ton. Um, my favorite washing curry which I wish I knew, it's actually a groom a soft touch. I was gonna say, I wish I knew where it was from, but it's from there. And then this is all my leather care stuff. Uh, I use primarily FX, just personal preference. I really like their combi, I've always been a big fan. So um, I used to use reusable bags, like old blanket bags, but I've had too many spills. So that's why I use a Ziploc now for this stuff. I just. There's nothing worse than showing up to the show with oil all over everything, so we're gonna get that in there. Then I have horse first aids, we have some vet wrap, some Animax, Voltaren, not sure why it's even, but it's there. We have um, a roll of Specialist, some Wound Stop Alu Shield, Blue Coat, and then we have some Neosporin somewhere in here, and then some Ophthalmic. Um, eye ointment, both steroidal and non-steroidal, just in case. Since since Zen lost his eye, I've been a little more paranoid about packing that kind of stuff, just in case. Then we have basic human first aid, some ibuprofen, band-aids, some Pepto-Bismol wipes, you know, fun stuff. It's not as impressive as the horsey first aid because, well, horsies are more important. So last um, this is kind of a worst case scenario. This is banamine or flunic flunixin megalamine. Um, this is for colic. Um, again, worst case scenario, in case anything happens, it's nice to just have it. And yeah, so that's gonna go up here because it is glass and it will be kept cold at the show. Um, so it doesn't get over hundred degrees because that's how hot it's been lately. So, I have a plethora of boots here for Cali. Um, these are the Cavalry, they're actually dressage boots, but on Tuesday, I don't even know if I'm gonna jump, to be honest. She's not a horse that needs a lot of prep, so why put the mileage on her legs if I don't think I need it? Um, and then these are their, their little combo bandages as well. Then I have just some Escadron splint boots, open front boots. Those will probably be the majority of the week along with um, these Veritas Pro Jumps. Um, these are a medium, which actually might be a little big on her, but that's okay. They're normally Troy's. And then these will also be at some point during the week. These are just professional choice white. Uh, I think they're called like the Splint. I don't know, something, but they're super, super lightweight. And um, they're one of the only boots I found that don't rub her because she has really, really small cannon bones and she tends to get little rubs where the um, elastic is. So I have to be very careful with what boots I put on her. And last but not least, these are just some of her Equipad um, brushing boots. They're a small and a medium. Again, she's a very small lady as far as her bone goes. So we just have these for um, flatting or if I, she needs a lunge one of the days that she's not getting ridden or something like that. Those are in there just in case we need them. So normally my boot bag is this full. If I have one horses or six horses or whatever, I tend to put it over here. I always battle it fitting 
and I always have to push this down really hard. Normally I give up. Looks like it's really not gonna fit. Incredible. So I guess it'll go over here. <laughs> so Callie's going with two bridles. Um, guess I could move this. Her first bridle, just a flash bridle, and she has a very dirty bit at the moment. Don't judge, I need to clean it. But uh, it's just a three-piece lozenge, five inch from Core Steel. The other one is a three-piece Steuben Easy. It's a five and a quarter because it has bit guards. This is the one that has the fixed fixed give with slight leverage. Um, this is a figure eight bridle. And then she'll go with her breastplate as well. So I used to use bridal bags. To me, it's way easier. I have this really silky satin Maylort bag. I just put everything on the same hook like this. And I just go from the bottom up. All right, in you go. Please fit. Yay, finally. And this little bag that I have from Magic, I actually use it as like my dirty rag bag. I normally hang it in the grooming stall and then we just throw our dirty rags in it. So um, this little guy will go in here somewhere. Make sure I have it. So this is some of my pad collection. Um, I might have a bit of an equestrian Stockholm problem. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> I actually got this one yesterday, fun fact. I've been looking for the Moroccan blue for forever. It's a bit of an, an obsession. Anyway, so I'm gonna be sticking with Lemieux. I absolutely love Lemieux. Um, definitely one of my favorite pads next to ES. They're both very near and dear. So I'll be taking two white show pads. Um, I'm gonna check these out a little later today or tomorrow to make sure that they are clean and show ready. Um, but I will be leaving them in their plastic just in case they are clean. And I got this incredible bag from Standard Issue Equestrian. Um, and it fits quite a few pads, so it's super convenient for showing. Then I'll also be taking my black and my gray from Lemieux. And these are all the close contact suede. And last but not least, I'll be taking the navy, which is actually an Equipad liner, so that's cool. So I'm taking all four of my cast helmets. Um, down here I have the Star Lady in three different models. I have the Pure Shine. This is black. Um, I have the Pure Shine in Anthracite. And then the far one is the Rose Gold. And this is actually a custom. This is also the Star Lady, which is the wide brim. But this is um, a navy matte with Rose Gold and Swarovski crystals. So this one hardly sees the light of day because it's very, very special to me, but it will be at the show this weekend and I'm super excited to wear it. Um, it's definitely a statement piece for sure, but I'm just very thankful for Cask for sponsoring me and sending me all these wonderful helmets. Um, they're amazing. And they've protected my head more than once. So I'm very thankful for that. So here's Callie's show halter. I'm gonna pull out the pimp blanket. Throw an extra pad out. And then note to self to remind myself to clean and bring my parlantes. Also on my to-do list for tomorrow. Washing my back on track quick wraps. Um, I'm also missing a pair, meaning they're probably in one of the boys' boxes. And I just remembered that Zinn broke this. He's never touched a boot before, but I had it on him like a month ago and he decided it was a good idea to like destroy it. Thanks Zinn. 
I also have these back on track standing wraps. Um, I'm gonna give these a wash too, just cause they're very dusty. Um, I think they were clean, but California is a very dusty place. Southern California, particularly. So I'm gonna wash those as well tomorrow. So another part of packing for the show is getting the hay that we're gonna need for six days. Um, all the horses eat a little bit of a different diet, so I have to figure out how many bales of alfalfa or Bermuda or Orchard or Timothy or whatever the horses are on um, that we're going to need to take, as well as ordering the shavings from a place fairly local to have them delivered so that all of their stalls can be bedded down. Um, I also need to prep the water buckets to make sure all the horses have water buckets, whether they're hanging or corner large, you know, 25 gallon buckets or so. Um, the other thing is hoses, pitchforks, muck buckets, wheelbarrows, that kind of stuff. Um, I have to prep that as well, but I can't start kind of organizing that until the night before we leave because we use all of that stuff every day, like the hoses and stuff. So um, I'll have to do that Monday night, which is 24 hours from now. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the next video, which will most likely be the show video itself. See you guys soon.